Hey, good morning, folks. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Cracker321. Boom. Um, getting right into it. Um, looks like, as of yesterday, the Georgia school shooting that occurred Wednesday of this week, both the father and son appeared in court yesterday and um, doesn't look good for them and it really shouldn't and from what I found out Georgia is one of 42 states in America where if you have an underage child or teen living with you and they do something like this or anything to that degree the state holds you legally responsible as well so now the father will also be paying the price for the sins of the son so without further ado this is Fox 13 news let's check it out and hit play the suspect in the Appalachian High School shooting made his first appearance in a Winder, Georgia courtroom today. As Steve Harrigan reports, the suspect's father is facing multiple involuntary manslaughter, second-degree murder, and cruelty to children charges. The 14-year-old accused of killing two students and two teachers at a Georgia high school remains in custody after making his first court appearance on Friday. He faces a maximum penalty of life without parole if he is convicted on felony murder charges. And prosecutors what say additional charges will be filed. When he was taken into custody on wow. Wednesday, we did not have the identities or the conditions of the other victims. So we were not able to charge on those offenses. The teen was filed in court by his the father, 54-year-old Colin Gray. Mm -hmm was also arrested in connection with the shooting. For a maximum total uh, possible penalty for the charges that you currently are facing of 180 years in prison. Authorities say the charges are related to the suspect's possession of a weapon. Georgia is one of at least 42 states with laws allowing parents to be held criminally responsible for their children's actions. The parents, particularly his father, that provided him with the weapon, and that's going to be what the prosecution needs to prove these types of charges. Both the teen suspect and his father were questioned last year wow. after reports the teen allegedly made threats to shoot up a local middle school. At the time, Colin Gray said hunting guns were in the house. He knows the seriousness of weapons and what they can do and how to use them and not use them. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a little bit of a shock. The teen and his father will have their first hearings in December. In Winder, Georgia, Steve Harrigan, Fox 13 News. You know what's really funny? Uh, the father says it's kind of a shock. Um, that interview, um, I believe, happened last year after the son was posting about threatening to shoot up a school on his Discord page. And, he, of course, when he was questioned, he said his Discord page was hacked. Um, as I said, the father says he was shocked. You know what I found shocking? that you would give a 13, 14 year old teen with obvious problems an AR automatic weapon to begin with. Yeah, in my opinion you should be held somewhat accountable because you basically gave him the means to go to that school, shoot up that school, and that's why two families don't have their kid and two other families don't have their husband or wives who were teachers that were also killed. Come on, if one person is killed, in my opinion, it's horrible. But to do this in a high school during the first week when young people and children start school, are you serious? Yeah, they're both going to be in prison for a long time, and rightfully so. You took the lives of people, the penalty fit the crime. You know, something to that degree. Because basically, you didn't care. 
you knew what you was doing. And then on when you was 13, you threatened to do this on social media? That should have been a red flag right there. Uh, maybe my son has anger issues. You think? Wow. Well, listen, if you're a subscriber, uh, do me a favor, hit that bell icon, select all, let you know when new videos are uploaded. Do the same thing on your Android phone or your iPhone if you view YouTube on those devices. If you're new to this channel, your first time here, um, hey, subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, it's all welcome, and I'll definitely see you in the next reaction. Take care. Peace.